Destination Whistler brings you today Costa Man and the Vibrations. We're going to uh, hear their sound in a few minutes, but joining us, Costa Man himself, DJ Fro. Thanks very much for... These guys were here at about 5 o'clock bringing their instruments, so thanks for being here so early. <laughs> now, you've been playing together for almost four years? Almost four years, yes. What, what kind of a sound do you have? Well, we have a kind of worldly, funky sound. We mix um, all kinds of music, just like the people in Whistler is diverse. Our sound is very diverse. We're a blues, funky, reggae uh, kind of mixture with a world beat flavor as well. Now, DJ, you're, uh, I'm not sure, can I call you DJ? Okay, good. Uh, DJ, you uh, you kind of um, would normally lead off this group of uh, scratch and all. How long have you been DJing? I've been DJing for about eight years now. And, uh, and so in a show, you would kind of lead the way. Is that how it works? That's right. I open up for the band and I do little scratching dubby samples and kind of add a little little electronic touch to it. Yeah, and you, it's exciting because you guys are here performing with us, but you're also trying to do some charity work as well, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, tell us a little bit about the charity aspect of what you're doing. Well, uh, we're called Bands Against Hunger, and it's a local organization that we formed here a few years ago. We do a lot of community work, and there's always a global and a local component to our uh, fundraising. Right now, uh, we're um, helping out uh, an orphan center in Namibia. Mm. Uh, we also do things for local charities, uh, animal shelters, uh, and anything for the community we can do, like, for example, the parade next week, which we're leading for the Olympics that's on Sunday. And um, just all kinds of, of sure, work yeah. that, uh, that's positive. Why is fundraising an important part of uh, expressing yourself with your music? Well, it's not a choice. It was a calling. Uh, it's just something that had to be done. People, um, for me, Bands Against Hunger was a way to put together a vehicle locally that people can jump into and do some good work uh, without having to go outside of town. Now, Fro, tell us how excited you are that uh, the Olympics are going to be here in 2010. I mean, everyone we've talked to that lives here are pretty jacked about the games. How about you? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Uh, when I came to Whistler about 10 years ago, uh, I started to see the little bit of the hype develop, and now it's come to the point where we're just a couple of years away, and uh, it's going to be a crazy, crazy couple of weeks, I think. All right, and you guys have a website uh, if anybody is interested in helping you out with your fundraising efforts? Yeah, um, you can catch us at uh, MySpace to check out Bands Against Hunger. Okay, that's great. We're going to hear from you in a couple okay. of minutes. What's the song you're going to sing for us? We're going to sing 13 Years. It's about the children's soldiers in Uganda. Okay. All right, look forward good to stuff. that. All right. All right, Mark, and there's some rumor that in the next half hour, Lynn and I may be playing with the band, but we can't hey. confirm that yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've already to told see. them it was a bad idea, but... Yeah. At least doing yeah. a little but singing. But drums and... But drums and everything. I was going to say at least a little singing and dancing. That's all we need. Do it. <laughs> all right, <laughs> you guys. Great. Thank you, Amy, and we're uh, going to hear from Costa Man now. Steve and Lynn apparently joining the band. Is that really a good idea? <laughs> yeah. It's not the best thing yeah, for our viewers this morning. Yeah, we the next half hour, that's for sure, because there's quite a, quite a few people have gathered around to watch it, so we're in for a great treat now. Costa Man and the vibrations, the song is 13 years. Take it away. Thank you. Children's soldiers make me cry. Just be like children in that night. Only 13 years old got to learn. It's already paid Only 13 years My children are crying Only 13 years Only 13 years My children are dying
library shelf. See how a circle complete itself. It's a hard, such a hard road. President set in the books of law. Criminal history. Judge I'm on destiny. Oh, look at the results of Vietnam. What do we see? What do we see? Criminal president. Criminal president. Steal our children in the night. Only 13 years old. Got to learn how to fight. It's a crisis. Yeah. All the humanity. Yeah. What's up, Whistler? <laughs> Let's just uh, put this up before we uh, throw back to Lynn and Stephen Whistler because Lucy and Steve are on the front cover yes. of TV Week. Cute. And Lucy has painted... <laughs> painted um, paws, I'm paws. noticing. I love it. Nail polish. You're just jealous. Did you, Steve? <laughs> did you do that, Steve? You can't see his nails, so I'm assuming yes. She's beautiful. Take off your gloves. Let's see, Steve. <laughs> Yeah. Matching paws. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I don't care how I look. It's more how Lucy looks. And as long as she looks okay, then it's all good. So, And anyway, we're going to run. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Costa Man to play us out. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. A Babylon, I got take me down. Ooh. Whoa, me I turn my back. Me I turn right around, turn right around. Babylon, I got take me down. Ooh. Whoa, me I turn my back. Me I turn right around, turning about Molly plant the seed, and now we've grown into a forest. The youth today, we sing the word through. Plant the seed and now we've grown into a forest. The youth today we speak the word through every verse and chorus. We are the forest.